Hello, dear classmates. Before we end chapter one, we would like to introduce our course objective and the roadmap for you, so that you can decide if you want to watch the rest of the course. We will also show our notation and the reference of this course, and then finally we will conclude by a short dedication. The objective of this course is to introduce what is VOSI testing and why is testing so important. How can we achieve good testing? And what are important issues in testing and their good solutions? Please note that this course will focus on VOSI digital circuits only not mixed signal or analog circuits. This slide shows our course roadmap in the EDA topic. In chapter 2, we will introduce logic simulation. In chapter 3 and 4, we will introduce the concept of full modeling. With these two concepts, in chapter 5, we will show for simulation techniques. And then we will introduce simple testability measured concept. With these two important concepts, we can then introduce a most important topic in this course, combinational ATPG and also sequential ATPG in chapter 7 and chapter 8 respectively. Then we can move on to chapter 9, delay testing. If you are interested in defective chip diagnosis, you can also watch chapter 10. In this roadmap, we will show main concept in deep red color and the side topics in the pink color. This slide shows our cross roadmap in the design related topics. In chapter 11 and 12, we will introduce the concept of design for testability or DFT. With DFT concept, we can move on to the concept of building self test in chapters 13 and 14. And then with the concept of DFT and the building self-test, we can move on to test compression. And then if you are a designer, you would like to know something about memory testing and the functional testing. After that, you would like to know something about system on chip or SOC testing. In this semiconductor pyramid, we can divide our topics in three parts. On the top of this pyramid, we see the NDA related topics. For full simulation and the logic simulation, you can see chapter 2 and 5. For the ATPG automatic test pattern generator, you can refer to chapter 7, 8, and 9. In the middle of this pyramid, for the design related topics. For DAFT, you can refer to chapter 11 and 15. For boundary scan, you can watch chapter 12. For the BIS topic, you can watch chapter 13 and 14. At the bottom of this pyramid, for the manufacturer industry, you might be interested in production tests in chapter 1, diagnosis in chapter 10, memory test in chapter 16. In this course, we will use the following notation. For important keywords, we will highlight them in red italic. For important concepts, we will highlight them in blue color. The paper references will be quoted in square bracket like this. 
For the book reference, we will quote them in round parentheses. And before we end the video, sometimes we will provide FFT questions or food for thought. Those are interesting questions that encourage you to think and discuss with your classmates. Because those are advanced questions, so there is no fixed answer. You are encouraged to think and discuss with your classmate. And sometimes we will provide quiz questions for you to review some important concept. For example, what does FFT stands for? It stands for food for thought. Those are important quiz questions. So please pause the video and work on the quiz every time you see this page. At the bottom of some page, we will summarize important concepts in red box. So make sure you read this red box to capture important idea of this slide. In this course, we will use four different reference books. The first one is also referred to as a triple W textbook because the authors are Wang, Wu, and Win. The title is VSI Test Principle and Architecture published by Morgan Kaufman in 2006. This is a very modern textbook which covers some of the advanced research topic in this area. The second book is by Bushnell and Agrua, Essential of Electronic Testing, published in the year 2000. This is a very good textbook that has very rich contents in some important topics. The third one is by Abramenchi, Brewer, and Friedman. It is Digital System Testing and Testable Design, published by IEEE in 1994. And the last textbook, BMS, by Badil Makhani, Severe. The title is Built in Test for VOSI Pseudo Random Techniques, published in 1987. Although this is a pretty old textbook, it covers many important topics about building self tests. After watching the video, you are encouraged to read some corresponding chapters in the reference book. For example, after you watch our chapter 1, you are encouraged to read either the Triple W textbook sections 1.1 and 1.2, or you can read these sections in the Bushnell textbook. After you read the book, you can get a more detailed information about the corresponding chapters. Finally, we have one more classic textbook in the area of testing. It is called Logic Design Principle with emphasis on testable semi-custom circuit, published by Prentice Hall in 1986. And the author is Stanford professor Edward McCluskey, who is a pioneer in logic design and testing. Professor McCluskey was a Princeton University professor for eight years 
and then he became Stanford professor for more than forty years. In his whole lifetime, he trained seventy-five PhD, and I am lucky to be one of them. In his whole lifetime, he made many important contribution to the area of logic design, electronic design automation, and the testing. To name a few, first, he invented the Quine McCluskey algorithm, which is the first algorithm in electronic automation to minimize two-level logic circuits. We will cover part of this algorithm in video fifteen point two. Also, Professor Makarski introduced the concept of hazard, which will be covered in video two point six. Professor Makarski also proposed pseudo exhaustive testing, which will be covered in video seventeen point three. And Professor Makarski also analyzed sequential circuit modes, which is important for a synchronous circuit design and analysis. Professor Makarski was the first president of IEEE Computer Society. He was also the founder of Stanford CS program. Professor Makarski was IEEE Life Fellow. He won. Several awards, including IEEE Emmanuel Pure Award and IEEE John Vanuman Medal, he was also a member of National Academy of Engineering. For more detail about Professor Makarski's contribution, you can refer to Stanford CRC webpage. Finally, I would like to show my appreciation to Professor Makarski. Many contents of this course was originally taken from Makarski's Stanford lecture note, so I would like to dedicate this course and all the videos to Professor Makarski. A great pioneer researcher and educator in testing. If you like this video, please remember Professor Makarski and his great contribution to the world. Thank you for watching.